Russia is rumored to relaunch air strikes into the territory of northwest Syria. This time, the attack was carried out to help the Syrian ruling regime's army to seize Sarakeb territory in Idlib province. Previously controlled by the anti-Syrian president Bashar al-Assad, the National Liberation Front. Regime forces with Russian air support are able to regain complete control of the city of Sarakeb on the Damascus-Aleppo highway, said a witness from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, quoted from AFP on Tuesday, March 3, 2020. This incident occurred until Monday night and left 11 civilians dead. The dead were in Al Foa village and also Odwin village. Direct confrontation also took place between the government military and the anti-Assad mass supported by the Turkish army. In fact there were reportedly 21 Assad counter troops killed, and 11 military regimes who died. However, a spokesman for the National Liberation Front said the regime's military took only a little from the territory. The Syrian war has been going on since 2011, Russia and Turkey are on opposite sides. Nevertheless, civilians have become victims. There have been 900,000 people displaced since violence escalated again in December 2019. Initially in 2018, the two sides agreed peacefully with the Sochi Agreement, in which Turkey oversaw Idlib. But Assad's forces have increasingly been active in attacks since the end of the year. Turkey also opened the border door so that refugees could save themselves and enter Europe. This is a new problem again for the Blue Continent which previously also flooded with Syrian refugees. Previously Turkey also launched an attack on the Syrian military. Two Syrian military jets shot down by Turkish troops. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share comments and subscribe.